Hi, hey, Michelle. Let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so uh, let me see. I have the illustration three of them. I have Scott, which I need to add the stamp template to it. Okay, good, good. I was going to mention that, but since you're aware of that, I will we'll hold off on those comments. I'm actually surprised how Shuri and Agent Carter came out. Still not sure All right, yeah, I've got some suggestions. I think will definitely help, and I'm going to use these examples too while I'm while I'm talking. So be sure to to uh, you have these up and make sure you go ahead and take a look through these video tutorials again because I'm going to use these as some examples again as well as Will Smith over here was the first example we saw. So the main thing I'm seeing and it's probably the most difficult portion of this assignment for students to wrap their head around and that is the depiction of light and dark and and students really want to jump in and just start adding these shadow areas and it's a mistake and the reason that's a mistake is we can clearly see it almost looks like there's, there's face pain here. So really, really exercising a high degree of restraint while you're uh, adding these highlights and shadows is, is the most important part of this assignment. Now, if you notice, um, these, a lot of these techniques took some, some liberties and, and no, not exactly depicting all of the shadows here. So, and that's fine, that's perfectly fine. I mean, the name of the game here is kind of reducing this to its most simplistic format. And I, I think that that's to a high degree going to determine the success here. So this, I think these are overdone. These, these highlight areas here, these little highlight areas. I mean, really go minimal on this and really try to use only shapes and, and um, you know, slight variations in color to uh, the, the associate parent hue to uh, uh, establish these, these tonal variations. Okay, well, again, we can see it here. All right, this is all basically one hue. We got a couple of shadow areas here. We got a highlight area here. We got a couple of shadow areas here. So, again, we're not depicting all, every single little shadow in the illustration. I think that's a really, really important point and one that's going to really bring this to it. Here's another example here. This is the finished. So you can see all of the volume here is created using us one simple shadow and some some contour lines in the hair area. But this shadow right here is the only depiction of depth. And, and uh, well, I should say this shadow right here, this shadow right here, and basically the hair, the contour lines of the hair are really the only area where this is depicting any depth at all. So this designer has elected not to use any depiction of shadow and highlight, and it is to a very high degree. It's very, very successful. So we can see here where the nose is, is, is established. We just have a couple of little areas depicting those shadows and highlights. And note the interesting way that these shadows were created. Okay, and then we can see that here, right here, firsthand. So definitely would like to see it tone it down a little bit in, in the depiction of the shadows and the highlights. Definitely. And do, do you see what I'm saying? I mean, otherwise it looks like just straight up face paint. It looks like these, these illustrations have paint on their face. I mean, I know she does, right? But um, really want to watch that, okay? And try to get a, a higher degree of realism in terms of, of those tonal variations that, can, that are used to make up the shadow and the highlight areas. Okay, so those are my recommendations, and uh, keep working. Watch your pen tool. We can, I can see some jagged lines right here. Let's go ahead and zoom in so you can see what I'm talking about. Right here, we can see that's a straight line. That's a corner point, then another straight line, corner point, another straight line, corner point. Instead of, and we see it here, straight line, corner point, straight line, corner point. Instead of a organic curve that would be associated with the eyes. Watch those. Watch your pen tool. Really, really important there. Um, okay, I hope I've given you enough to move on here, but I think that as, as the, the hard lines are, are set up very nice. That's going to be a fantastic illustration. I can't wait to see that when it's done. Likewise here, once these are toned, toned down, I think that's a nice depiction of that, that ponytail or that hair braid or whatever it's called that's coming out right there. That's a nice depiction there. Good job. Good illustrative technique there. So the name of the game right now it is really just fine-tuning this, just just hunkering down and, and, and 
getting these fine details in order and really, really taking a close look of how you want to depict shadow and highlight. Do you want it to be quite so intense to the point that it looks like some sort of facial paint? The word that keeps coming up when we're talking about these flat avatar illustrations is zombie-like. So the more you know, the more variation you have in these illustrations, the more they start to look like zombies, especially when you have these, these high, the high degree of tonal variations around the eyes. So keep that in mind, definitely. Keep working. Three out of four, almost there. We'll have to get the templates in place this week and use the, the clipping masks associated with the templates. Think about your typography. Think about placement of the actual illustration within the picture plane of the clipping mask, not the stamp itself, but the clipping mask, which is right here. So if I hold my my cursor, okay, there's the stamp, perforation, now right there is the clipping mask. So that's the live area. You'll be placing the illustration within that area. So think about how you're going to transpose these from right now, which is a square format, into this more rectangular format depicted by this Okay. All right. So um, any questions at all, please let me know. And of course, I will be here. I'll be here all week. Um, I'll be in every day. So if you want to post something and post additional progress, I'll be glad to take a look and comment on it. Okay. Great job. Thank you.